Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Saturday, October 26, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. Alright, we got some good ones here. I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out to give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas that were there if you're a brand speaking new player to the game. You're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, there's a particular daily weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome with great comments and tips, which are really appreciated. Right, so of course, everyone knows by now we do have the Spooky Scorched in town. We have the Spooky Scorched until uh, November the 5th, so it's a little under two weeks here now at this point. And we do have these Halloween daily weekly challenges that we have going on. Of course, these Halloween ones have a star next to them, and that means that we cannot re-roll them. Now, these daily challenges build a candy bowl and give out candy from your camp, trick or treat from other player candy bowls. These are tied into weekly challenges right here. All right. These ones down here as well. All right, there you go. Perfect. So, build a candy bowl and give out candy in your camp. So someone just came to our camp and finished that one off but we'll go through that here in a second now of course these weekly challenges will tie into the event challenges right so just in case you guys are wondering all right so you only have half of them completed okay and you'll get the other half completed next week okay so that means this week halloween challenges if you have it looking like this that means you are halfway through and we need the second week to complete them all right Right, let's go ahead here. Let's take a look at this one here. Halloween build a candy bowl and give out candy from your camp one. So there's a couple things that are going on here in order for you to get credit for this daily challenge. You have to build a candy bowl. You have to fill the candy bowl with mystery candy. And you have to wait for another person to come to your camp and trick or treat. Okay. So the candy bowl is, of course, we do have a free one in the atomic shop. is a case if you didn't have a chance as you know we all have busy lives but you know you play maybe on the weekends only come out here to the special free special offers tab we have the crania candy bowl okay now if you remember if you're a returning player from back in the day uh, the last couple of years we had what was called the spooky candy bowl and i made a video on that just recently uh, but i had to make another one in regards to this guy because this one here is just basically a reskin for the spooky one so you can go ahead and claim it if you so wish. It's free, so why not? But again, it is just a reskin of the OG uh, Spooky Candy Bowl, which is, you know, the black candy bowl with the green hand in it. But either one works. They both do the same thing, all right? Of course, to build that, all you do is you go to your build menu. You'll be in your new section. It's also under floor decor. Depending on how I'm playing the game, for me, it's about 25% down the list. Maybe even 35% down the list for me. Right down here. As you can see, here's the OG Spooky Candy Bowl. Of course, here, slide over. Here's the Crania Candy Bowl. So the exact same thing. You only have one or the other in your can. So you go ahead and build it for two plastic. You go ahead and you kill Spooky Scorched. You get the mystery candy off their body fill your candy bowl candy bowls out here next to my vendors all you do is just walk up your candy bowl you can do a candy count all right and you can go ahead and fill it up if you so wish all right what if you want to do you also 551 candies put in that candy bowl right right on game right on thanks but we just overfill it <laughs> all right and then you have to wait for somebody else another player to come to your camp and trick-or-treat just building the candy bowl alone is not going to count all right so just an fyi and i only say that's because the very first day i was asked a lot of questions and i'm only saying it again because some people don't have time to play through the week they only have time to play on the weekend so i just thought maybe someone stumbles across this video and maybe you're having a hard time all right so that one there is checked off so that's pretty awesome actually let's head back here a little bit that person some space all right what's next here halloween trick-or-treat from other players candy bowls five so again there are 
again, a couple other things that involved for you to get credit for this. Okay, so if you take a look at the map here, let's take a look at this person's camp here. So look at a person's camp icon. They'll have different small icons underneath. So V is for vendor, the red one's for a shelter, and of course, the orange jack-o'-lantern that indicates they have a spooky candy bowl. Oh, that person just disappeared. All right, the spooky candy bowl at their camp. So if we take a look at this one here, for example, these two here, they don't have spooky candy bowl out. Now, not everyone in the world celebrates Halloween. Some people might not even know what it is, okay? And we have to respect that, okay? However, we can go to these camps here that have the orange uh, candy bowl, the orange uh, pumpkin, in the case they have a candy bowl. Now, just an FYI, just word for warning, you can go to people's camps. Even though they have a candy bowl out, doesn't mean they have candy in it, okay? So some people keep it filled up, some people don't. This happened in the past, I haven't seen it happen yet this year. I just thought I'd make that mention just in case you guys are having some issues. But the next thing is you need to, when you do trick or treat, you have to trick or treat with a, co with a costume on. So we have a lot, a lot of outfits here in the game. And not every outfit is considered a costume. Now I just learned this just the other day from one of my subscribers. So what you do is you open up the Pip Boy. Okay. And uh, put a couple outfits that you have or craft a couple outfits and put them in your, you know, on your person. Okay. Uh, so if you take a look at this Jack Gordon outfit, this is the Fallout first item. And I haven't seen it yet, the Atomic Shop, kind of surprised, being Halloween and all, but uh, again, you can buy it in the Atomic Shop. But if you look at the bottom of the screen, you see Inspect, okay? So whatever button it is for you, you select that and it'll bring it up. So you see at the top, Jack Gordon, up, and then you see at the very bottom, it says Costume. So this outfit is considered a costume. So you can trick or treat with it, right? Now if we take a look at the Grim Reaper outfit, which is an outfit here, in the atomic shop you can buy well you would think let's go ahead and put it on you would think oh that's a nice looking costume but it's not considered a costume let's go back to the apparel again let's go ahead and inspect it you see the grim reaper outfit outfit but it's, there's no costume in the bottom of the, of the screen so this is not considered a costume so we cannot trick or treat with this on all right so what you can do is you can bring a couple outfits with you uh, but you don't really have to, you can just do it at your camp, figure out which one is the way I showed you by inspecting. And you can figure out which one is considered a costume, put that one on. I would say just keep it on your person for the entire two weeks, and that way there you don't have to worry about, you know, not trick-or-treating, okay? Now, you don't, ha you don't have to wear a helmet or a mask or a bandana and such. It only concerns the costume or the outfit. So we're going to take our helmet off, okay? And we're just wearing the outfit, right? So there we go. Let's go ahead here. Start trick or treating. Hop over this person's here. Good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead just so I can show you. Let's put the Grim Reaper outfit on, which of course is not considered costume which I just showed you let's try to use it there you go you need a costume to trick or treat from this candy bowl put one on right so just an FYI that's what happens so if you get that that's how you know we go ahead and you're going to put outfit that is considered a costume and again you show that by inspecting go ahead there you go thanks for trick or treating have candy come back to camp in an hour feel free to visit others in the meantime perfect all right so let's go ahead and again you don't have to wear a hat or a mask or anything next here. Let's go to the next person's camp that has a candy bowl. This one here. Alright, now, nice job. Try the vendor. So I like to see, I like to see that stuff. Not trying to find them. 
this one here. And what you can do is you can, if you're low on caps, you can always utilize the free fast travels uh, places in the game. As long as you have them discovered, of course. But you can always do that to save yourself some caps. Turn the light on here. Alright, so this is the OG spooky candy bowl here, so... There you go, nice. Let's keep going here. Awesome. Love this time of year. So fun. <laughs> Just that little bit, right? Just makes us happy. <laughs> makes me happy. You know what is going on? <laughs> okay. All right, on. Take a look. Get a little scan. Sounds like it's up here. Right there. Good stuff. Alright, good stuff. Just need one more. Let's check. Let's grab this person's camp down. Holy <laughs> girl. What? tell you something that is amazing I'm not gonna lie that's amazing wow wow I am like flabbergasted here <laughs> look at this <laughs> wow well done well done yep Wow. Anyway. <laughs> Take a look at this one here. Halloween kill a spooky score. So we'll go ahead and kill a spooky score. I made a video just the other day. You can check that video out if you so wish. Uh, several locations. It's all time stamped. Just in case you guys go to a certain place on the map and everywhere you go, you can't seem to find these guys. It could definitely happen. Especially on a server with other people. And I would say the last couple of days uh, finding these guys is what's been taking the longest part of the video. But it's all about having fun, right? Let's lock and load, Jimmy boy. Nice. Right off the hop. Love it. Okay, so don't forget your mystery candy. Oh, two cans of dog food on the nice. Don't forget your legendary item. Now, most of them do, but I, I have been coming across a couple that don't. And don't forget your spooky candy bowl. All right, stuff. Right. Uh, there was someone down by Hamden Park. This pup up here to Tyler County Fairgrounds. Again, we all know the more popular places, but I do take you to a couple smaller places, like the place we were just at in that video. And they're the places that you want to check out, because they're the places that a lot of people just don't even bother with. There's only a couple Scorch there. Must have been here just recently because no one around. We can still check. Nope, dead. All right, what's next? Maybe Withers Water Park it is. And that same thing can happen to you. And and this is what I suggest to people. If you get on a server where, like, you go to, like, maybe three or four places and it's just dead, all right? No enemies, Scorch, or just their bodies have even despawned, okay? You can either wait 
okay. And there's usually this about 20 minute to 30 minute cooldown. And you can do that. But don't waste too much time, especially if you don't have a whole lot of time to do this stuff, right? Uh, just server hop. Server hop, nice. Ran for the life there, see that? Troubleshooter short gamma gun, eh? Hmm, that's interesting. Now, I have kind of... Oh, adjusted the light in the game. So I find since the last update we had, like I had to adjust everything again to the way I have it. And I don't know why that is. It doesn't happen very often, but uh, fortunately it did happen. So my audio is good now. I just need to adjust the visual. I just find these places are just darker than usual. Where's that guy at? We heard him. I know I heard him. I'm down below. Huh. I wonder if they would have moved. Possibility. Sucker. <laughs> okay, so like, okay, Jim, whatever. But it's a regular guy. It's a regular guy. Regular guy. Bunch of regular dudes around. That's fine. Let's move on. Now uh, let's go over here to the Palace of the Winding Path. Up over here, hopefully we it's a large enough area we hopefully can finish this off here. Now I know about two months ago we had the fest of scorched. Kind of like one of those Christmas in July kind of deals. And I'm telling you, they were difficult to find those guys. And it wasn't five, we had to get ten of them, for those of you who can remember. It's a little bit of a pain. And then you know what? Regular guy. Regular guy. Okay. Regular guy. Get him anyway. It's regular guy. Uh, let's. Yeah, good stuff. It's worth it. Worth making the trip. Ow. It's my son downloading stuff. <laughs> Little sunny bubbles. Too old. You don't be called Sunny Bevels anymore. <laughs> 17. It's just like, yeah, stop calling me that, buds. <laughs> He's the baby. He's the baby of the family, that guy. <laughs> yeah, okay. And we have to fix this here. Kit. And we get a bunch of them coming up here, so hopefully. Yeah, 
Okay, see how dark it gets? It was never, never this dark before. Okay, I'm make another adjustment, I think. All right. <laughs> Close that door. All right. All right, what's next here, Jim? All right, let's continue on with the rest of these challenges here. Drink Nuka Dark, too. So, Nuka Cola Dark is a, actually considered an alcoholic beverage. And we can find a couple of natural uh, spawn points for Nuka Cola Dark here in the game. Uh, one such spot is right here in Morgantown and Fraternity Row. So, let's pop down here and see what we can find. Now, I don't expect to find anything here because how we are on a public server with other people. I'll still take you there, but most of you know where I'm talking about. <laughs> Her. Alright, so once you're here in fraternity, well, we're gonna head up the road here. You can take care of these little patch of rules if you so wish, whatever you want to do. I'm not I'm just gonna kinda fly over them. Burp. Just like that. It's a side house, one with the blue door. Just go inside. This is the house that has like, kind of the walk-in basement. It has that Nuka-Cola bedroom down below here. Let's get right here. Oh, right on. I'm I am surprised. I am absolutely shocked. Alright, so we do have, as you see, grape wild orange so this is a full compliment i'm surprised this is even here i'm like totally shocked all right so this is a natural spawn for a nuka cola dark here in the game i believe we have to actually uh drink it yeah drink nuka cola dark let's see how many i have on me here first there so i got six that's fine all right good stuff so this is a natural spawn for Nuka Cola Dark. Now, as again, I'm surprised that it's here because we're on a yeah, server with other people. I expected all these to be gone. But there you go. But if you do come here and these aren't here, I would maybe server hop a couple times, but I wouldn't waste too much time doing that. This is just pure luck. I'm shocked. Now, there's another natural spawn for Nuka Cola Dark. It's down here in the Skyline Valley region. It's right down here at the Slumber Mill Motel. Of course, the trading post is a free fast travel. Mile post zero is obviously a free fast travel as well. Once we knew, uh, discover it, we're just going to fast travel down. Need to get rid of some caps here. Almost maxed out. Sure, our lights off. Ah, uh, so uh, we're actually not going to go into the hotel itself. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna, gonna go to the uh, red rocket over here. Of course, we're gonna have to do it. lost. I think there's usually about uh, three or four of them here. Still got a strike. Let's cat that. Huh. So right here in this new pull the machine, there's a new pull of dark right there. That is another natural spawn for new pull of dark. So those are two free new pull of darks you can get here in the game. Right, pretty awesome, eh? Now at the end of the day, uh, if you come to these places and you only have so much time in the day, okay? And you can't find them. You serve a hop a couple times and you're thinking, I don't have any more time for this, okay? We can buy Nuka Cola Dark from our old buddy Bubbles and down at the vending machines, okay? So let's pop into Bubbles here at the, uh, if I can find it here, <laughs> White Spring Resort. We're actually going to go to this icon right here that's going to bring us right to the front door. We're going to go right inside here. Alright, so of course our good pal Bubbles is going to head up this way here. 
and to the right, go to the tavern section, go to the medical bay, go right to the big open up area where the responders are, they like to kind of talk over each other. Talk to our old buddy Bubbles here, as you can see. Bubbles will sell Nuka-Cola Dark. Okay, now you can server hop this 50 times, and you'll get 50 Nuka-Cola Dark from this guy. Okay, 55 casts. All right? Now, one thing good about Bubbles inventory does not tie into the inventory down at the vending machines. The vending machines are down here in Nuka World on tour, and it too is a free fast travel, so let's pop down here. Right? The vending machines are just down here. There's something afoot here. <laughs> you care for a balloon? Nope. Ain't nobody got time for a balloon, lady. There's the vending machines right here. Again, there's new Call the Dark, 55 caps. Right, so you can go ahead and do that too if you wish. Just then that you can get them free or you can just buy them. You might as well just buy them. Because, you know, you're, those are guaranteed. Let's go ahead and drink a Duke of the Dark. There we go. And as you can see, alcoholic beverages. That's what they're considered in the game. Duke of the Dark. All right, what's next here? All right, collect toilet paper too. So I did make a video not that long ago in locations for toilet paper. We can find toilet paper in many bathrooms in around the game. Like, especially in around train stations. But maybe one or two. Maybe you can check out that video. And show you a great location where you can find multiple toilet paper, right? Uh, we are fairly close to Lewisburg, so let's go ahead and do that. It's going to go right into Lewisburg Station here, actually. I'm going to go up the side road here. We're going to go right to the uh, Van Lowe's Taxidermy. That is the house right in the corner of the blue. We don't have to interact with anyone here. We can just pop right inside. Cross our fingers, these are going to be here. We'll have to wait and see. But this is a pretty good spot. Nice and easy. Right? This is a good spot for many things. We're going to head right upstairs here. see this bathroom right here so I can see somebody was here but they only took what they needed so that is awesome. This is a great spot for toilet paper. The one round the roll. Now sometimes if you go to train stations and stuff you'll see it on the roll okay or even in around like settlements and stuff and you won't even be able to act interact with it okay but again only take what you need because you know I do have other people looking for the stuff too all right. Good stuff. What's next here? Let's go ahead and kill Death Claw 1. Many great spots we can find Death Claws in around the wasteland. Of course, we all know good old Death Claw Island, right where this person's at, right here. Okay. Of course, we have good old, right next to my camp there, we have the abandoned waste dump. So let's pop over there today. Just because if we go to Death Claw Island, that guy will be dead. There's other uh, players there. Death Claws do have high HP, so. And Deathclaws don't swim, so actually Deathclaw Island is not too bad if you're lower level. That way you can just kind of swim out a little bit and it won't follow you. Or you can just make yourself, you have like a ranged weapon, you just get a couple shots on them, go back to the island and such. So that's another option. But here at the Bannon Waste Dump, we will find guaranteed two. Uh, sometimes we can find three, uh, but that's a very rare occasion. But you guys have, those of you who have been watching me for a long time, seen me come across three so it doesn't happen very often oh he's on the prowl there I had to kind of make my way over here I have this little hidey hole up here where'd he go
So I went back there sleeping. I don't know where the other one went. Oh, there's the other one there. Let's get back in the little hidey hole here. Let's draw a pumpkin grenade at him. <laughs> it's like a surprise. Just like that. Pumpkin grenades. Love them. Love them. I think we only needed one. Yeah, we only needed one. So the second one will leave for somebody else. But as you can see, the second one is in there. And it's usually sleeping. So we'll leave that for somebody else. I think there's someone behind me there. Alright. I don't know if that person's gonna pop over there. Wow. High level there. Okay, what's next? Kill the super mutant five, so you see me kill a couple super mutants at that person's camp. You can find super mutants all around the wasteland. Back to my map here, Jim. Uh super mutants right over here north, kind of a lookout, really close to Alt 76. Which we have good old Grafton. Grafton Dam. Uh, Grafton Steel is a really good spot. All kinds of them up there. Of course, all kinds of them right here. Good old Nougat. For a little bit more of a competition, you have a uh, challenge, I should say. Huntersville. West Tech Research Center. Uh, Skyline Valley, we have the Rhinestone Arch. Research Site Saxony. Uh, let's pop over here to the uh, north kind of a lookout. Take care of these guys. So there's also going to be a couple floaters here, so just an FYI. But uh, we wouldn't be able to get all five here, but uh, we only need two. The other three we killed, we helped kill at that other person's camp. Someone may have been here already. distance a little bit there. It's flying in the air. Stop that. <laughs> okay, what's next here? Go ahead and complete an event one. So if you check the description, you'll come across a link to a video called Complete Events for Newbies. You don't have to be a newbie to watch that video, basically. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in that video, uh, I take you to a lot of places on the map where I spawn in events by myself. Now, of course, I am on a private server, but we can spawn in the same events on public ones. The only thing that kind of makes it hard is you don't know when the last time they were spawned in, so there's a cooldown involved since when the, the last time the event happened. So just an FYI, but we can definitely spawn in those events ourselves by ourselves on public servers. Okay, you guys have seen me do it many, many times. And the only reason why I made the video a little while ago is because, you know, sometimes we have gone on the map and there's not a whole lot of events going on. It might be an event that maybe we don't feel comfortable to do. Okay. Uh, so that's why I kind of made that video. So let's kind of check to see what we got going on here. We have good old fly swatter. We haven't done that in a while. So let's pop down here. It's tough. No one's even down there. And at the end of the day, you can always claim a workshop and then wait about three minutes and then you'll have to defend that workshop. And basically, that will also count as an event. And even if you help defend a workshop that's not even yours, that also counts as a you know an event as well. Many great options out there. So it's going to nice water there. Nice. I haven't done this one in a while, actually. Rocket load, Jim. 
Where in the world is this thing at? Right there. Jeepers. Just like that, baby. Now, if you have a shotgun, it won't work as well. Because it's so far away. Okay? And how it kind of moves around. Right? So just an FYI. And it never did fly swatter before. It will also, as a the voice mentioned, it will track other enemies as well. Right? Okay, what's next here? Collect right away or Rad X5. So you have a couple of different ways we can do this. Uh, ghouls. Ghouls are a good source of right away and Rad X. Now, I'm not saying every single ghoul will have it on them, uh, but a good amount does. Okay. Uh, so ghouls up here in the forest. Find ghouls right west of Vault 76 in the upper lower parking lot. Find ghouls at Alpine River Cabins. Uh, if you walk the roads of Morgantown, you'll come across patches of ghouls every other block, like four or five ghouls, and you can definitely check that out. Uh, now, also, uh, there's uh, an event that happens here called Back of the Beat. There'll be all kinds of ghouls that pop up for that as well. That's a pretty good spot. bunch of ghouls up here at Eastern Regional Penitentiary. A bunch of ghouls up here at the Clarksburg area. Anywhere and around White Springs, White Spring Golf Club, uh, Charleston Capitol Building, just to name a couple of places down here in Lewisburg and also some mini gate spots where you can find ghouls. You can get your right away and rat act. Now we can also craft right away uh, at our workbench. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our camp just so I can show you that. Okay, bro. See someone at the abandoned waste dump, so. It's a good thing we left that other death claw for that person. That's what you gotta do sometimes, is just be courteous to the other people. Now, if you're on a server by yourself, you know, definitely nothing wrong with, you know, taking care of business, you know? So we're here at a chemistry station. So you do learn the chemistry station very early on in the game. When you leave the vault, you come right down here to Flatwoods area. You come down here to the tavern. There's a couple of very early on quests, probably like one of the first quests you do. And you'll learn the chemistry uh, workbench plan from doing those very early on quests. Right? So FYI. You can also find the plan. Sometimes it spawns here at the Morgantown station. Right next to the chemistry station that's inside that train station. So that's another thing there as well. So we go craft here at our chemistry station. We're down here to healing. Now, if we cannot craft Rad X, we can find Rad X, as I mentioned, off the ghouls and laying around, but you can also craft Rad X diluted times two. Okay? So we can craft a full Rad Away, we can craft a Rad Away diluted times two, and you can do it that way if you so wish. Of course, we can use Chemist, which will double those results, but the same requirements. You can use Super Duper when you're crafting. You can also do it that way as well. There's definitely nothing wrong with doing that. Uh, but I like to kind of change things up once in a while just to give people, uh, you know, different options, you know what I mean? Uh, so we're actually going to go to a medical dispenser today. Let's pop over to a medical dispenser at this train station. See what it has. As usually, I just show you guys to craft it, but you guys know that by now, but... I'll do that. So here's a medical dispense. We can find them at every train station, White Springs, trading post, etc., etc. Okay, so there's some Rad X there. It's a Rad Away. Okay, so unfortunately, give us the four. Now, I don't know if uh, the train stations, if they're all tied together. So let's pop over to this train station here. And, uh,. We'll see you together. I have a feeling they are, but we'll check. Check just for curiosity's sake. I've been waiting to, for this one to pop up just so I can do it with you guys. It's medical dispenser here. This one, yeah, yeah. So they're those are both kind of tied together, so that's fine. Right, so let's uh, head back to our camp here, and we're going to go and craft. Finish this one off. 
or making some pretty good time a little bit quicker this past week is how we have those extra challenges we have to do but once we get on a roll all right let's go to our chemistry station here we're going to craft now again go ahead and use chemist under intelligence to help you out but we only need one more so we'll just go down here and we'll make a rat x diluted times two there we go just like that done again you can use super duper if you so wish mm -hmm. chemist and it just helps you out at the end of the day more so for weeklies but if you only need a couple you can just craft them that all right what's next here we get one more use photo mode to take a photo at best build camp one good stuff so we actually can use photo mode this time we do not have to use the pro snap deluxe camera let's go ahead we'll take a look so there's a best build right here so let's just pop up up the road okay now of course we have to use photo mode And what I suggest you do is you get right in the middle of the camp. Okay, don't take it from far. Make sure you're right in the camp. Okay. Now I realize not all camps you can get into. Some people have them locked up. Okay. There's definitely nothing wrong with that. You can do whatever you can do whatever they wish. Okay. Uh, but sometimes uh, all you gotta do is just get on the roof or get somewhere that you know that you're at. So this actually is pretty. Uh, this is actually pretty nice, actually. Very well done, I like that. All right, let's open up our map screen here. Bottom of the screen you see photo mode. Go ahead and take a picture. Now, you see there, you have reached the max amount of photos. You may be wondering, hey Jim, how do I solve that problem? Well, that is an easy fix. You just go open up your screen again and you go menu. You're down here to photo gallery. Right now, you only have so much room for photos. All you do is you go ahead and you can delete some photos if you so wish. Right, so you can make some room. Then you go back to photo mode. So let me go photo mode. Snapshot, there we go. Use photo mode, take a photo of the best built camp. One for one, done. Alright, glad that popped up actually because uh, that we're there. A new player does not know how to deal with that. Oh yes. Nice. Nice little waterfall camp there. Excellent. Now there's another waterfall right down here in the Skyline Valley region. This is probably one of the best looking uh, waterfalls in the game. And this is very well done. Very well done. Yeah. Definitely. All right. I think we're done here. We are just like that. Uh, let's go ahead. I forgot to open up the uh, spooky treat bags yesterday. Of course, our spooky treat bags will be under aid. Let's go ahead and open up these bad boys and see what we get. Of course, you can open them up however fast you want or however slow. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we did get a bunch of ammo for it under plasma cartridges. And that's what I recommend if you are uh, low on certain ammo. Okay. I would suggest that you equip that weapon. So you just go to a stash box. I don't know if there's any. I'm sure there's a stash box around here somewhere. Drilling. Test so what you do, just go to weapons section and just grab weapon. Okay. All you do is you make sure just not having the weapon, but you have to equip it. Right, just like this. So you have it in your hand. So you can open up your spooky treat bags and you'll get the ammo that goes with that weapon right just an fyi all right let's see what else we got here um we get a uh, halloween costume skeleton okay so we have been getting a lot of plans lately but um no plans this time around it's fine all right good stuff um Weapons workbench. Where would a weapons workbench be? Maybe the upstairs. Perhaps. Hmm. 
Interesting. Don't see a weapon to our pet. That's fine. Help us pop down to our camp here. We'll finish this off. Now I'll show you the weapon of the day. I'm sure most of you probably know by now because I used the same weapon yesterday, but just in case if someone's brand new to the channel. So I have been asked lately uh, the weapon that I've been using during my gameplay. You guys know I change them every week. Now uh, let's go ahead. We're going to go modify just so I can show you. This weapon I've been using here is the Anti-Armor Night Vision Enclave Plasma Rifle. Plus 50% armor penetration. Minus 15 action points with each kill. Minus 90% weight. Night Vision. So you see the mods I have. The Severe Beta Wave tun Tuner. Stabilized Sniper Barrel. Stabilized Stock. Long Night Vision Scope. Poker Paint. Right? In terms of the perk cards, nothing, uh, nothing special. There's no oh my gods here at all. Under percent, we have the rifleman, tank killer, expert rifleman, master rifleman, all maxed right out. Of course, I have the uh, tenderizer, a couple of little things, but that's pretty much it. Again, no, no oh my gods here. Under uh, legendary, these are the same perk, uh, legendary perk that I've had for quite some time. And they're all maxed out. And the reason why I'm able to max them out for the last couple of seasons, I was able to make it way past 150. So I got all kinds of tickets. What I did with those tickets is I purchased the perk coins and I was able to max these bad boys out. I think that's what a lot of people did as well. Alright, there you guys go. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share me the other chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffin, Heather, White Tribe, Robco, Mr. Shelton, Drake Stamps, Mr. Prince. Not me, but me. Yes, me. That's me. G-Double-3-K. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.